Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you from Dubai. We just made it a few hours ago and we are very sleep deprived, but we got freshened up and we're gonna go explore the city a little bit before the sun sets. Oh, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> so we're all still recovering over here from the like 14 hour flight. We just feel so, so blessed to be here and we are so excited to take you guys with us on the rest of our trip. We are walking in the Al Sif district. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Al Sif area. So basically while we were walking around, I was like, oh my gosh, this is old world Dubai. But actually this stuff was only built a couple of months ago. Yeah. <laughs> so we just met with our photographer and she was like, yeah, this is all brand new. This is like the new blogger spot to take pictures. It's so, so beautiful so nice. though. It's like, like I said, just like really old world style. taking pictures and video and this is the most beautiful area so we're gonna go find something to eat and then we're gonna call it a night and we're gonna start fresh in the morning it's day two of Dubai we woke up well actually I woke up at 3 30 this morning super early so jet-lagged but I'm feeling so much more fresh and awake and I just feel so much better and I'm so ready to get this day started so the first thing on our agenda today is we are going on a helicopter tour of Dubai you guys I am so so excited. I have never been on a helicopter before. After that, we're going to be going to Dubai Mall. We're going to go to the at the top lookout point. And then after that, we're going to go to Medina Jumeirah tonight for dinner and to get on the little boat. So I'm so excited. And Amanda's just still getting ready. So I'm waiting on her so we can go eat breakfast. Okay, so we just got to the helipad area. We're sitting in the waiting room and so we're gonna be going out there in just a little bit. I'm they so gave excited. us little badges. It's gonna be so fun. pictures and videos and everything and like and enjoy it yeah. at the same time. I feel like it just would have I would have gotten anxiety like if it was longer because you like would have had more time to think about it. It's kind of scary. It is kind of scary honestly. I feel like since it's small you can like feel the movements. Yeah you can feel like, every little helicopter. movement, every little turbulence. Yeah. yeah. But it was really fun. It's so fun. Okay guys we were just talking about this so I thought I would share. So Amanda doesn't really talk in her sleep. I'm usually the one who talks in my sleep, but Amanda was literally so was dead so tired. She was so tired when we got back from dinner that she literally just like passed out. And like right as she was falling asleep, she goes, oh my God, I can't believe they drew that squiggly line on your paper. I was like, it was literally creeping me out. It was creeping me out. And then Amanda goes, what did I just say? And I was like, I don't know. I really don't I know. I never told you my sleep. I vaguely remember saying that. Like, I was having a dream for sure, thinking about something. I don't know. I don't know what lines. I, I don't Okay, so right now we're on our way to the Dubai Mall. We're probably going to walk around and maybe shop. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, we're going to go to Lauderay, Amanda. Yes. It's our favorite you. macaroon place. They have it in the Dubai Mall. So we're going to go do that. We're also going to the Burj Khalifa, the little lookout point. We're gonna do that later, but I will catch up with you guys. We just went and like window shopped at all of like the designer 
stores in Dubai. Oh my god, you guys, everything is gorgeous. We were just obsessed with the Dior, um, the Dior store here. Do we not have a Dior store? Yeah, I don't think we I have one in Dallas. one in Dallas. Oh, and we sprayed some perfume. Oh, yeah. Amanda smells so good. I yeah, I sprayed the oud on me without even smelling it, and now I smell like so strong, like oud. <laughs> I'm embracing the yes, oud embracing. culture of Dubai. <laughs> so we're just gonna order some tea, order some macaroons, and just chill out for a little bit. We just made it to the at the top at the Burj Khalifa and oh my goodness you guys i thought i had come here before but apparently there are two different levels and i was on the lower level the last time we're on the 148th floor yes. um and they kind of explained a little bit of like what is in the Burj Khalifa because that was kind of like my question is like what kind of a building is it actually? The bottom section is the Armani Hotel, the middle section is like residential like apartments and then the upper level is corporate, corporate offices. It took us forever because my phone would not connect to the Wi-Fi and so we couldn't get the Uber and long story short, we're finally here. Finally. <laughs> so we're on an Abra, which is like one of their little boats that's on the canal. Yes, it's so pretty. The weather is yeah. kind of cold. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a little it bit feels chilly. Good. It's just kind of chilly. It feels really, really good though. Dubai today we are getting ready to go eat breakfast and then we're gonna be going on a yacht ah so exciting after the yacht we're going to this beautiful spa called the Talis spa in the Burj Al Arab I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the spa name correctly but as a hijabi it's a little bit hard to figure out like what I'm supposed to wear because I definitely want to take pictures since it is so gorgeous in there so I'm basically just wearing like a white jumpsuit and a like swimsuit cover-up so it's definitely not something that you'd actually wear to the spa but I think it'll be good for pictures. Amanda and I are walking to get on the yacht and we're still wondering if we're gonna be the only people on it. I think we are. Honestly. I feel like we are. It'll be really really cool. <laughs> day four so I'm gonna recap a little bit of what we did yesterday so we went on the yacht tour around the coast it was absolutely gorgeous the sea was like really choppy like the waves were really big and it was actually like so much fun but we did get a little bit seasick so that's why we weren't able to like vlog that much yesterday after the yacht tour we went to the Talis spa in the Burj Al Arab it was one of the most beautiful spas that I've ever seen it was on the 18th floor and you could kind of like see like a big view of like the ocean and like the skyline I also got some beautiful footage while we were in the spa area so I will include that as well it's 
It's about 10.30 right now and we went and had breakfast this morning. We were kind of sick of hotel breakfast so we went out and like had breakfast at this place called Coco House. It was really really good. I'll insert some footage of the breakfast that we had but me and Amanda got scrambled eggs with some vegetables and feta cheese and then we also shared a gluten-free waffle. They had a bunch of gluten-free like pancakes and waffles so we were so so excited and we had really good coffee and tea. We just came back to the hotel to get ready to go take pictures at the Shangri-La. They have this really gorgeous balcony overlooking the city with the most perfect view of the Burj. So we are so excited. So we're about to leave to go to the Shangri-La Hotel and I will talk to you guys when we get there. Okay, it's super sunny, but we made it to the little terrace at the Shangri-La Hotel. You can see the Burj right there. It has like literally the most perfect view. Me and Amanda are gonna go have lunch now and then we're gonna get ready for the desert safari tonight. This is just the most beautiful day. We're having so much fun. desert safari i've been on a desert safari before but this one's a little bit different we were riding in a like vintagey looking land rover i'll show you guys what it looks like it's really really cool and after this we're gonna see a falcon show and i think we're having dinner in the desert as well and after that i'm really not sure after dinner if there's anything else but the weather is so so nice it feels so good it's supposed to get really chilly outside here comes amanda where is she? There she is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Don't they look so cute? I was very particular with the way these were like put on. But I think he did a really good job. I think job. he did a good job. So cute. Good morning guys. It is our last day in Dubai. We're at this really, really cute breakfast place called Vibe. We just had some acai bowls, some scrambled eggs, some smoked salmon. Avocado toast, we had it all. It was so good. So today we're going to the Atlantis to like kind of tour the property, see the aquarium. I'm so excited. After that, we are basically just going to be getting ready to leave. So I'm gonna take you guys with us on our day today. I'm really excited. So we just arrived to the Royal Bridge Suite here at the Atlantis and we are getting a little private tour. Only celebrities and like presidents and like really VIP people stay here. This was seen on the Real Housewives show. Kim Kardashian stayed here recently and it is just absolutely insane. So I'm about to give you guys a little tour. Here is what you see when you just get off the elevator. This entire floor is the suite so here is a little spa room here we go into the master bedroom so we have one bathroom for her and then a one bathroom for him so we have like a double bathroom we have the closet i believe there's two closets as well a meeting room this gorgeous city view another meeting room and another closet. I'm, this place I'm is just, just like literally in awe. I'm literally in awe. That's not it guys. I have like another half of the floor to show you guys. <laughs> so here we have the living area. How gorgeous and how big is this? And then here we have the gorgeous dining room. I just have to show you guys this gorgeous view. So they have views from each side. So one side is a city palm view, and then this side is the ocean view, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I have to show you guys the other side as well. So they get to see the sunrise and the sunset in the same day in the same room. I asked how much it was, and you guys, it's like $27,000 a night. <laughs> but, I mean, it's probably worth it. I'm 
shopping for gifts at the Dubai mall. I was like literally asleep in the Uber. I'm so tired, you guys. Um, but I did wanna show you guys what we got. So Batil makes stuffed dates. Um, they also do dates um, covered in chocolate, stuffed with different types of nuts and like candied fruit and all kinds of stuff like that. But I just got some that were stuffed with hazelnuts and macadamia nuts and pistachios. And they're all kind of like wrapped up. That's why I can't really show you. But they are so, so yummy. So I got one box for Omar and I, and then one for my parents. We also got some Barazic, and what that is, is they are little sesame seed cookies with pistachios. I don't know who these are gonna go to. Either my parents or Omar's mom or something like that. We really wanted to get some more La Dure cookies for my mom. My mom is literally obsessed with macaroons, especially from La Dure. But they only last like a couple of days, like, if that, um, if they're not like refrigerated or frozen or something. And they just, yeah, they just don't stay fresh very long. So we were just so dead exhausted and we couldn't find La Dure again. So I'm really, really sorry, mama. So we're about to pack up and get on our flight tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys when I get back home. Bye.